Uh, do you think maybe you should build more walls and the so the turrets don't shoot your own people? Well, the only reason that's a problem is because crazy suicidal people will run through here to try and get cover behind us. Um, there's not really much I can do about that, unfortunately, and I kind of don't want to do anything about that, because in the event that we need to fall back from here, I want those turrets to be able to back us up. Original Dungeon Keeper was really good. Dungeon Keeper 2 was good, too. Yeah, I, like I just said, I didn't watch the trailer for Fallout 4. Uh, you can get medical attention, and we can try and recruit you. You're not totally fucked up. Don't rest, you son of a bitch. See, I'm good out of bed since you're healed now, or at least you're patched up. I want that bed open for other people, and I want you working. And now go treat the prisoner. We need a lot of medicine for him. Took five pieces of medicine to patch this guy up. That's a lot of fucking medicine. He better join us. That's an investment. This medicine takes a long time to grow. Did you eat not fucking fix him up? Whatever, just take the medicine pack. Hey, McScavage, are you still wounded, or are you patched? You're patched up. We're all patched up now, good. We've got a machining table done. We can use that to disassemble mechanoids, which is nice. I want that to be uh, forever, and I'll just manually turn it on when we fight mechanoids, which we fought none yet, which is very good, because I hate mechanoids. And uh, we want do until you have, and I want the number to be 25. We'll ne we're never going to use more than 25 shots in a siege. Do we not have enough power for that, or... Right, we don't, because we don't have that generator done yet. They're going to have to work on that. Let's actually mine a little bit, get some more steel. We also need to cremate these bodies. Hey, Hernandez. Uh, you need to eat. Okay, go eat. Food's getting tight. Ah, oh, someone's already doing that. Okay. What's the fog supposed to be? It's just fog. I believe, it, I believe it slows down, uh, I think it like hurts vision and it slows down the, uh, oh god, what's it called? It slows down the growth of plants, I believe, because there's less sunlight. Probably also, god, this heat wave is wicked. 61 Celsius out. No wonder people are in a terrible mood. King, you're probably boiling in that fucking armor. Yeah, King's got to get back inside to a nice, cooled room. Gonna get a heat stroke. Um, slows growth of stuff. Probably also slows down the power you generate from solar power. Yeah, we are actually are low on food for once. I need to do some turret hunting. No animals in range of any of our turrets. Awesome. I'm gonna keep burning the corpse. Not gonna go with cannibalism. Uh, really bad for sanity, and the heat wave already isn't good for that. Foggy, foggy heat wave. Looks like the fog, uh, the heat wave finally ended though, so now it's just regular boiling hot out instead of uh, the surface of the sun boiling hot out. The hops are growing nicely. Still learning brewing. Haven't had much time to research, apparently. A lot of them are probably out paving those roads. Can 
We can have a home region just for that wire there. I don't mind that. That person has a power helmet. That is incredibly valuable. Get that. Awful quality. God damn it. I can probably sell it. King, you wanna... It's reserved by Super Effect. Okay, at least it's being worked on. God, we're having issues with power. At least that vent's working. How much is this game? Yeah, you can buy it. It's just not on Steam right now. Um, you can buy it on the RimWorld website. It's, uh, I want to say $20. It's really awesome. Love this game. Oh, we have our first, uh, our first shipment of hops is in. Our shipment, our first uh, harvest of hops. It lasts like three months before it spoils, so I'm not going to bother putting it in the fridge. We would need to save that room for food. Plus, we're going to be brewing in here, so want the hops near where we're brewing. Full full game pack is 30? I thought it was 20. Whatever. I don't know. It might have changed. Or I could have just gotten it wrong. Uh, do I get this game while it's still in alpha, or is it better to wait for the final Buy it still in alpha. Um, it's not like you need to buy it again once it comes out. It's awesome. I love this game. I think you get a f you get your money's worth of an experience already, and he's still working on it. Um, usually a really big update every month or so. Okay, at least we're cooking. This is good. Any meat though? I want to get some meat going. I could set things for hunting, but we don't have anyone actually set to hunt. Once we get an assassin to join us. They can be hunting and doing art all the time, because they're going to be an awesome shot. Still don't have a sniper rifle. Cannot believe I do not have a sniper rifle yet. Usually you kill snipers by now. We're pretty far into this colony. Is there multiplayer? Nope. Uh, there's no multiplayer, and I don't believe there will ever be multiplayer, because it's such a start and stop, pause, speed up, slow down the game kind of game. That I don't know how the hell you'd do that multiplayer. What are you doing? Oh, he's praying. There's a raid. Banzo the forest again, and they're attacking immediately. Okay, they're attacking at the west wall. Here's what I'm going to do this time. Uh, we barely have any time to get in position here. McScavage, in fact, was outside the wall, which is terrifying. Okay, uh, and you have a rifle. Okay. So here's what we're doing. They're all gonna be back here. The sec they're gonna bum rush us, and the second they get to, to the front line, we pull back and let the melee people come around the corner and ambush them. But do as much damage here as we can. Whoo! <laughs> That one shouldn't have gotten point blank. Mm, they're getting into melee. Fall back, fall back. They're fleeing? Oh god, they get terrified easily. Alright, alright. Get back to your, uh... Your posts over there. See if you can shoot any on the way out. Ah. 
All right. We didn't get very wounded on that. But we really need that power con you with their effect. Oh no, we have another way for it to go through. Good. I was gonna say, that cuts off supply to our generator there. It would be really bad. Uh, doesn't look like there are any survivors in that pile, though. Nah, no survivors. Damn. I was hoping for more prisoners. Just strip the bodies so we don't lose anything good. We can sell that clothing. Uh, kind of a pain manually telling them to be able to use all this stuff. In fact, I could probably just drag a box over the whole thing. Hernandez, uh, go strip those two. We killed a lot of people right there. But I'm happy it went well. Reven, you're wounded and you're the fucking doctor. Great. Uh, where's King? Yeah, King, go patch up Reven. Is Reven actually patched up? Did you heal Reven? You did. Okay. And visitors show up now. To see the aftermath, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Our other generator is up. Good. We shouldn't have power issues now. And, of course, they always blow up. One of the, uh, security, that was it. They always blow up one of the turrets. But they usually lose a lot of people blowing it up. I guess they all hoard around it and keep hitting it and it blows up in their face, so... I'm not overly concerned. They can kill themselves doing that all they want. We're gonna end up having a lot of wood just because we keep, uh... We keep cutting down trees to build the wooden paths. Oh, that one got built fast. Any turret hunting to be done? No. Shit. The last Battlefront was made in 2005? God, was it really that long ago? Doesn't feel like it was that long ago. Let's get another generator ready preemptively. And we need more steel for that. We're actually running a little bit low on steel within our large tract of land here to mine out. We're probably going to want to get reforging soon so we can start, uh, start taking all this broken down pieces of slag and turn it into steel. It's not terribly efficient, but it works. Uh, bulk goods trader. Eh. Bulk goods trader is good if you want to buy steel, but we don't have the money for that. I mean, we could, but I want to save up. Is that person sleeping in the marsh? Why would you do that? We have houses. Yeah, stream's been going for a while. Speaking of, I should actually go on a five minute break now. All right, I think I'm gonna go on a, on a short break, maybe a maybe three minute break or something this time so I can check a few things. Um, actually, you know what, might just try to make it five minutes. Uh, you know what, how, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a five minute break. Be back soon. Hey everybody, welcome back. Got some tea and we're ready for some more RimWorld. I'm pumped. Okay, uh, so we were just building stuff. Um, we're gonna try and get this generator up and running. 
We need some more steel for it. We do have some some compact steel over here and over here that we have marked off to mine. And we do have this generator up, which means everything is powered. Sorry, I was just reading the chat a little bit. Uh, Apollo just made an account. Hello, Apollo. Hey, Apollo, if you want to be in the colony, all you do is you hit the follow button, and then when the poll shows up, next time I have to name a person, a poll will show up. It'll say, like, hey, do you want to be in the game? And you just vote yes. And then uh, when I randomly draw a name, maybe it'll be your name. Oh, a bunch of boars up here. Boar meat is pretty good. Actually, boar leather is good. It's heat resistant. Most of the leathers are very similar in properties. But boar leather is particularly nice. Rimworld is like Game of Thrones, I suppose. How is Rimworld like Game of Thrones? I'll admit, I've never watched Game of Thrones, but I never got the idea that Game of Thrones at all is like Rimworld. <laughs> what time is it in Canada? Well, Canada spawn spans four time zones, so really depends on where in Canada you're talking about, but if you're talking about where I live in Canada, in Toronto, uh, it's currently, let me check, 7.37 p.m. I was implying that everyone died, but okay. Uh, we have not lost a single colony member, actually, this entire session, which is surprising. Uh, people usually die a lot in this, but we've just played very conservatively, and we have very good base defense that we set up early. That being said, our colonists are not very good at combat. A lot of them are great melee fighters, but melee fighters have a high-risk job. You're a lot likely... You're a lot more likely to get wounded as a melee fighter than as a um, as a ranged fighter. I would rather have a dozen dudes with assault rifles than a dozen dudes with swords, for obvious reasons. Or reasons I think are obvious, I guess. We should get more people wearing these synthread dusters. I guess it's pretty broken down, but still, it's superior quality. Synthread Duster actually covers a lot of your body and keeps you fairly protected for a non-armor piece of clothing. Synthread's resilient to... I believe it's uh, resilient to cuts, so it's good against knives and arrows. Not particularly against bullets, not much you can do about that. Either than straight-up body armor. But still, cuts happen a lot. Any kind of knife or arrow will cut you. You'd be more intimidated by a dozen dudes with swords? No, I'd be more intimidated by a dozen dudes with assault rifles. Can't wait for that tea for that tea to be cool enough to drink. Need so much more tea in my life. Oh, how nice, they're playing chess together. Which reminds me, we should actually get more things for Joy. That's something we could have done and never got around to doing. I want a... might as well just make it a wood horseshoe pin, because that actually trains shooting skill to a small degree. I'm gonna just put that over there. We still need a billiards table, we just don't have anywhere to put it. Let me check the updated on... Yeah, there we go. I knew something was weird about that. There. There's some pieces of home uh, region left. And they're working on that generator up there. We probably have enough steel for that. Counting the stuff on the ground. Yeah, we definitely have enough. But still, it's better to have it on hand. Which is why it's really important to mine that out. I see a Millie emote in the chat. 